everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we're going to be unboxing another Battletech product. Whenever I have been doing these unboxings, I've been getting a lot of positive comments asking about uh, uh, more Battletech on the channel. So this is another uh, uh, box. This is basically the not the the starter introductory box which we already reviewed, but this is like the official uh, game. That you can get. So this is Battletech, a game of armored combat from Catalyst Game Labs down there below. And you got a cool battle mech on the cover. What's in this game, you ask? Well, good question. On the back side, we can look at the contents and we see we get eight high quality, fully assembled, unpainted miniatures, rule book, record sheets, universe primer, fiction novella, eight pilot cards, heavy stock reference sheet color paper mats, punch board of additional battle mix and terrain, and two six-sided dice. Let's open this guy up and see what we get. So this is uh, the novella by William H. Keith. I'm not sure if that's the same novella that's in the starter box, but uh, I'll find out and let you know. And I just confirmed uh, this is a different novella than what's in the starter box. The starter box, same author, has this golden rule. This is the one in the box we're looking at today. So that's pretty cool. We get a uh, novella. We get some Alpha Strike cards, which, from what I can tell, Alpha Strike, I have the rule book, but I haven't um, done too much with it or reviewed it yet for the channel, but it's basically a simplified version of a Battletech. And I apologize if that offends anyone or I got that wrong. All right, so this comes with eight miniatures, which is nice. Um, we'll take a closer look at those in a, a minute. Let's see what else is in the box. You got your primer, which has your history, the Inner Sphere, the Star League, all the different houses, the mercenaries. Nothing about the clans, but obviously the clans have their own starter box or box, which we looked at already. Then the rule book. Um, Battletech is one of the more meteor uh, games that are, is out there, that is still out there. This was back originally in the 80s era of Starfleet Battles, Advanced Squad Leader. So you've got a lot of rules, very meaty rules, very detailed rules that are um, pretty cool if you want that level of depth. And then I think the Alpha Strike uh, cards are for those who want something a little bit more simplified or playing, I guess, larger battles. But the, uh, the rule book looks cool. So you get the rule book. You get your mech record sheets. Now this brings back some memories. You've got, look at that critical hit table. That's back from the olden days when your critical hit table had some meat on it. Internal structure. So you have your armor, then you have your internal structure inside of your armor. Um, it's, it's all very detailed stuff. So this is just, you can, you know, a bunch of blank ones. Uh, here we have some sheets. I'm pretty sure these are double-sided. I'm not sure if these are the same as in the starter box, but if you can just slap them all together, but very cool. Then you've got basically a cheat sheet. These are always handy. And then you've got a list of, or list, you've got a sheet of cardboard stand-up mechs if you want to play that way. Not everyone wants to play with miniatures. Hey, that's that's their choice. But uh, yeah, that's not what I'm here for. So these are cool though. Then back to the miniatures. All right. So we've got. Uh, I don't know what all of these are off the top of my head. It does have some name there. Shad, Kate, Tom. I guess that's a locust. I know that for sure. Thunder, 
Wolverine maybe. Awesome. That's the new Battlemaster. Catapult. That's what that one is. Alright, I thought we'd take a closer look at the miniatures. Uh, let's start with the... I pulled these cards out so I could identify all of these. We have the Locust, which is this little guy right here. You can see some of that detail. I'm very impressed with the um, detail on these miniatures. Lots of uh, panel lines that are recessed so they'll take an ink wash nicely. So there you go, that's the, the locust. And then you've got the commando, which is this fellow here. Kind of derpy looking, but what are you going to do? Very nice detail. Let's put him with his card. Next we have the griffin, which is... See, he has high shoulders. Is he this guy? I think he might be this guy. We'll call this one the Griffin for now. And we've got the Shadowhawk, which is this guy here. And this one is the same miniature that uh, came in the starter box. So the starter box has two mechs, so I already painted one of these guys. You can see that. Alright, next we've got the Wolverine, which I imagine is going to be this guy right here. Not exactly like the picture, but close enough. And if I'm getting these wrong, please do leave me a comment down below. But again, very nice sculpts. Then you have the catapult. I know this guy. Because I like him in the video game. I remember him. Very cool. Look, the missile launchers are kind of not... You know, they're they're glued so it's just kind of odd the odd angle but you know what we can make that work then we have the thunderbolt maybe this guy's the thunderbolt this must be the thunderbolt yeah so that's not a wolverine and then we've got the awesome which is this guy not pretentious at all there he's just awesome and then this is double sided that's the awesome and then that's the battle master here which is one of my favorite mechs um, this guy looks really cool. I have the metal version of him from way back in the day. This guy. You can see they've they've upscaled him somewhat. I still plan on stripping him and painting him. Because he does look more anime-like. But uh, this new version is very, very nicely detailed. So there's your battle master. So I may have got some of these guys wrong, but uh, like I'm not sure on this guy if he's a griffin or not. But you know what? Close enough. So there you go. That's a look at the miniatures to give you an idea of these models uh, painted again. Here is the griffin, I believe. So in the starter box you get one of these and you get one of these which is this one is not present here so this one is I won't say unique to the starter box because I'm sure he'll show up someplace else but he's not in this um, new core box so that's kind of what they'll look like painted 
then uh, I showed you the metal guy. So there you go guys, that's a look at uh, Battletech, the new boxed game with these cool pre-assembled but not pre-painted miniatures. So I'm looking forward to uh, priming these and uh, getting some paint on some of these, particularly this new uh, Battle Master. I just think he looks cool. And then we can fight the clans, fight each other, have all kinds of cool Battletech battles. So there you go guys. If you didn't know, I'm a sucker for giant robots. I like giant robot games. And uh, I like Kaiju. That's why I like things like Robotech, Pacific Rim, and Battletech. You can get those robots in. So, um, not a bad uh, set. I think this box runs 60 bucks. We get the rules, the full rules. Uh, eight miniatures, which are pretty cool, all the way from big heavy guys to small ones, and um, there you go. So, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe. You can also uh, follow us on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about Battletech. Do you want to see more Battletech content on the channel? Let me know down below. As always, thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.